Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Ryan. In this short video, we will try to answer the question: What is the true meaning behind "about that time and hour"? Nobody knows. Due to copyright reasons, we will be referencing scriptures from AKGV version of the Bible. Many people believe that if they hear the good news that God is back, then it must be false because nobody knows the time and the hour. However, is this the correct understanding? Let us read two Bible verses first. Revelation 3:20 states, "Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me." Matthew 25:6 states, "And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh; go ye out to meet him." These Bible verses tells us. After the Lord returns, people will know. God's return is not forever unknown. Otherwise, when we will ever welcome the Lord's coming? If it is forever unknown, how could some people make a cry and testify to others that a bridegroom has come back? Isn't it God's will to let us hear His words to welcome His return and be purified by His words in the last days and be made holy to enter His kingdom? Therefore, we can understand about that time and hour. No one knows. Does not mean his coming is forever unknown. It certainly does not tell us to reject all the news of the Lord's return. Then, what is the true meaning behind about that time and hour? No one knows. Let us read a passage of words to understand more. At the break of dawn, unbeknownst to the multitudes of humanity. God came to Earth and began His work in the flesh. People were unaware of the coming of this moment. Maybe they were all fast asleep. Maybe many who were watchfully awake were waiting, and maybe many were praying silently to God in heaven. Yet, among all these many people, not a single one knew that God had already arrived on Earth. From this passage, we can understand. But of that day and hour knows no man, means that no man knows the exact moment of the Lord's return on earth. No one will know the exact time and date God will become a flesh a second time, appearing as a normal man among us. The Bible prophesied, "Before all eyes can see Him on the cloud, He shall return as Son of Man in the flesh a second time, secretly, to prepare the true believers for the kingdom of heaven." The moment he appears, no one knows. But after Christ arrives on earth and start to express the truth, those true believers who can recognize God's voice will realize that God has come back, and they will tell each other about it. Isn't it the same way 2,000 years ago? Nobody knows the exact hour and time Lord Jesus will be born in the manger. The day Jesus was born in the manger. Did everyone on Earth know that God has come in the flesh? No, right? However, after Lord Jesus began to express the truth, people began to realize that He is Christ, and they shared the good news. So, about that time and hour, no one knows. Simply means that no one knows the exact hour and date God returns in the flesh a second time. However. After God incarnates in the flesh a second time, people will recognize Him through His work and words. We will get to hear the good news through others' testimonies about Him. That is why Matthew 25:6 states, "And at midnight there was a cry made: Behold, the bridegroom cometh; go ye out to meet him." Brothers and sisters, through this short video. I hope you now have a better understanding of the true meaning behind about that day and hour. No one knows. Please join our online sermon to learn more. See you next time, brothers and sisters. Bye bye.